Hi DIYers, this is Michael from AlarmGrid, and today I'm going to explain how you can use the Honeywell 6 combo combination smoke, heat, and carbon monoxide sensor for only smoke or only heat detection. Um, so like, like I said, the, the 6 combo, it's a combination sensor. It offers three main detection functions, smoke, heat, and carbon monoxide. Now when you go into the programming for the 6 combo, you'll see that each of those three functions are listed individually, and you can actually toggle them on or off. Um, so why would you want to do this? Um, so there are certain cases where, certain areas of a home or business, where it might make sense to turn off smoke detection, for instance, or it might make sense to turn off heat detection. In most cases, you want to have all functions enabled, so that way it, it's more likely to detect an emergency. Um, by having both smoke and heat enabled, the sensor can respond to a fire more quickly and more accurately. Um, and carbon monoxide, um, of course, you want to have that enabled because carbon monoxide is very dangerous. Um, but if there was an area where it made sense to turn it off, for example, um, maybe you have a kitchen and someone frequently burns uh, the stir fry, then um, you might want to turn off smoke detection because uh, the, the smoke from the burnt food could activate the sensor and trigger a false alarm on your system. So in that case, you might say, hey, for this area only, we're going to turn off smoke detection, but we'll still have heat detection because um, if there's an extremely high temperature that would only be found in a fire, then uh, you know burnt food's not going to cause that by the sensor. Um, so you, you could still have heat detection and carbon monoxide detection, but you won't have smoke detection. Um, another area, maybe you have a, sense, a smoke detector, a six smoke or a six combo in your bathroom. And the humidity from uh, the shower, um, you know, the bathroom activities, then uh, it uh, can trigger a false alarm potentially for the smoke detector. Uh, that's just something that could happen. Uh, so in that area, again, you might keep heat on, but uh, smoke off. Maybe you have a furnace room, and it's very hot in that room um, because the furnace is running, and it's, 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 maybe it's a cramped furnace room or something, and you know that the temperature could theoretically get above 135 degrees. It, it could. And you know that um, you know having heat detection enabled could trigger a false alarm on your system, but it, you're not going to have a false alarm due to smoke in that area, so you might have smoke detection and not heat detection. So you can toggle these on and off individually. Um, so those are just some examples. Um, often it's, it's a good idea to turn off smoke detection in, in a garage or an attic because those are, are dusty areas and those could potentially trigger false alarms. Um, I used to live in Arizona actually and it would get up to around 125 degrees, believe it or not. And so maybe in that area I would turn off heat detection. So there's just an example there. So if you want to um, toggle these on and off, you have the option to do so. Um, remember that each of these functions will use its own zone on the Lyric system. So by turning one of these functions off, you can save a zone on your Lyric. So that's another benefit. But anyway, um, so that, that's just an overview of, of what you can do. But uh, let's get into it. So we have our six combo already enrolled with our Lyric system. We're at the main screen of our Lyric right here with a nice security menu in the upper left corner. And we're going to choose that button right there. And then we're going to choose Tools. And we're going to enter in our installer code, which ours is at the default of 4112. And we're going to choose Program. And we're going to press the down arrow, and we're going to choose six programming. And then we have our six smoke slash CO sensor right there. Um, that's the one we're going to be working with today, just to show you uh, how we can do this. Uh, we can press the button right here, um, the zone, no, the, the sensor, I mean, the six sensor. And it's highlighted blue, and then we press edit down here in the bottom left corner. And you see we get to this programming screen where we can uh, configure various settings for the six combo device. Now, let's say I wanted to turn off smoke. Uh, we could press the button right there, and you see that the option goes away. We no longer have the option to do alarm report or the verify function because we have turned off smoke detection. Um, when it's gray, it's off, and when it's green, it's on. So right now, we have heat detection, and we have carbon monoxide detection, but we don't have smoke detection. If we want to turn it back on, we can press the button again, and you see it turns back green. Uh, we do want to keep the alarm report enabled for anyone that's that's um, turned on because that's how the system sends a signal to AlarmNet, so that way it can be forwarded to the central station and or uh, the end user via text and or email, depending on their monitoring plan. So in most cases, these are life safety sensors. You will most certainly want to have alarm report on. Uh, there is a verify option uh, where it has to detect uh, smoke twice within a certain period of time in order to activate. That's a false alarm prevention function, which you can choose to use. We have uh, other information of that on our website. Um, but all of these we can turn on or off. Like, so say we didn't want carbon monoxide detection for whatever reason. We could turn that off. 
If we want, it didn't want heat detection, we could turn that off as well. And now it's just a smoke detector. And now we turn off smoke detection, and now we have a sensor that's doing absolutely nothing. Um, so it's not using any zones on the system. But um, we do want ours on. Right now, we have them all off. So let's turn them back on. We press the button. We have smoke detection. We press the button. We have heat detection. And we press the button. And now we have carbon monoxide detection. And we have all of ours enabled. You can turn those on or off as you please. Uh, remember to press the Save button in the bottom right corner so that way um, it saves the changes. Uh, if you don't press the Save button, then you won't apply the changes. And it looks like we have one go all go off here. Uh, we want that on. Uh, that's so that all the other six combo and six smoke devices on the system will activate. Um, so we have ours set up the way that we want. Everything's on, smoke, heat, CO, and one go all go. We're going to choose Save. And that's how you can make the changes there. So. That's how you can use the six combo for only smoke or only heat. If you turn off the other functions, then it will only do the function that you keep enabled. Um, so you can set those up however you want. So if you have any questions about the six combo or the Honeywell Lyric alarm system, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to um, give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.